When we decided to do research on the Zika epidemic in Pernambuco uh, and in Brazil in general, we thought that one thing that might be missing in what everybody looks at in an epidemic would be an anthropological point of view that gives particular attention to women's opinions about their own life as caretakers of disabled children. So our whole research efforts were, in, in, were with the idea of making those women be very visible and have some kind of way to contribute to how the state and other private institutions could respond to their demands. So we set up uh, work that would first put us close to the mothers. We'd go around with the mothers to the different places that they treated their children. Uh, we'd go to their homes. We'd go around to whatever they'd like to do and we'd become their friends. We wouldn't become researchers with research agendas that we had to do very quickly. Uh, we did anthropological work together with those people. But that's not enough to know what the state is doing with you or for you. Uh, so we also talked to all of the administrators that we could get in touch with and were willing to speak with us about what kinds of health programs, what kinds of social security programs, transportation programs, social benefits, uh, education programs were being uh, organized and what kinds of special things were being done for Zika mothers. So we talked to everybody in the state that was willing to talk with us and that we were able to find uh, about how the state was reacting. And we have a third minute, of, in the third moment rather, of very, in, very great importance for us, which is once we've been able to find out how women are dealing with their situation, we want to make sure that policy makers and policy uh, uh, administrators uh, and even people that are, that are on front line work with the Zika mothers and their children are aware of what these mothers think about their lives, what their experiences uh, have been, and can maybe make state and other services respond in a much more sensitive way to how women see their lives as it's been affected by the Zika virus.